Coming up on Take 30 News, Mississippi State University takes time to highlight national women's Stand by them. Campus. Stand them by on camera too. Plus, an animal shelter in West Point is willing to do whatever they can to find their furry friends a home. The Golden Triangle Kennel Club plans a big show. We'll explain. Your Take 30 News starts right now. Alright, camera two. Them. Good afternoon and thank you, thank you for joining us today. I'm Rufus Collins. And I'm Calvin Ritchie. Yeah, out of this, we're going to overdose deaths in the United States have steadily been increasing for decades, but the CDC attributes a sharp rise in fatalities in recent years to illicitly manufactured synthetic opioids like fentanyl. Well, the Biden administration is, is addressing drug trafficking by sanctioning entities associated with the illegal and deadly Stand trade. Package. And am record amounts of fentanyl have been seized by authorities. Those who have lost loved ones to overdose say more needs to be done. Mike Valero reports. Play it. Take it. It's a synthetic opioid intended to help patients manage severe pain, but fentanyl is now driving the drug overdose crisis across the country. Fentanyl right, overdose is called the come equivalent back to camera of a two, new September 11th. Tag it, and every then two gonna weeks, gonna go to provisional three data from the CDC revealing more than two-thirds so of all overdose deaths it. are linked to synthetic opioids like fentanyl, leaving almost no community untouched. It hurts every day. It was something I had heard of, but not it, not something I would have ever thought would have killed our, ch our child, ever. While the federal government has declared the opioid crisis a public health emergency, there's a new push to target fentanyl and similar substances that are exacerbating the epidemic, including a proposed bill aimed at labeling Mexican drug cartels foreign terrorist organizations. This problem uh, is a national security threat. Fentanyl is a killer, and the people killing Americans reside out in the open in Mexico. But some who have lost loved ones are taking matters into their own hands. When my son died, I had never heard of fentanyl before. Jaime Puerta lost his son Daniel to fentanyl poisoning in April 2020. He claims Daniel bought a fake pill from a dealer on Snapchat. Stand by on camera two. his nonprofit called Void Victims of Illicit Drugs, Puerta is working to raise awareness and change the conversation. We have Less to look at it as a poison and a, not a war on drugs, but a war on fentanyl. In Los Angeles, I'm Mike Valerio. Take camera two. It's now time for a first look at your weather. Stand by we camera turn three. things over to Campus Connect meteorologist, Roberto Zamora. Take camera three. Hello, Bulldog family. I want to take you over to our campus cam right now where it is a beautiful one out there. We got some fair huh? weather clouds that are over our head, but that sun is that? shining on through, making it just beautiful. I would suggest going outside right now. It is right, a little chilly, however, we are in the lower Rufus. 60s at 63. We do have a dew point at 48, so we seconds. have drier conditions right now. We do have a wind at the north northwest at 10 miles per hour. Tonight, we are going to drop into the upper 30s at 38 degrees. Going to be mostly clear out there. Three, We're going to have these cooler conditions two, with a north wind of 5 one. to 10 miles per hour. Take care, one. Two. A local Perfect. organization gets a generous Stand donation from the city of Columbus to help the Golden Triangle area. Play package. This past Take Wednesday, it. the Golden Triangle also, when was counting down. Received a two acre plot of land from the City more. Council of Confusing. Columbus to build a village of tiny homes. The land where the village will be built is located between the Columbus Humane Society and Fire Station 4. And out of this, we're going to take years one. of planning and funding tag, to acquire and then we're the land. Go to camera three. In so, can we get camera three set for Calvin? We had this dream that everyone could live in this tiny home village that we create. Um, and it would offer educational, you know, classes such as GED, and it would offer, or even cooking classes, and it would let them save right, up money three, to, to, your right, to independently live on their own once they left our village. When talking Locked to down. Dorton, she uh, told me that if everything like goes smooth, perfect. construction and the building process could start at the end of the month. She also mentioned why this land is a premier yeah, location for one the village. Back in the days, it used to be a trailer park. They had all of the plumbing, water pipes, everything they needed, like this one here. If you ask me, it looks like it was a good piece of land for the Golden Triangle Homeless Coalition. The plan is to get the tiny homes built quickly so those in need can move in as soon as possible. Hopefully by 2024, we'll have the fully functioning Time. village. So that's going to be 10 units. Right, you can call the 20. GTR Homeless Coalition at 662 549-2643 for more information or if you would like to get involved and help with their cause. For Take 30 News, I'm Cody Blazak. Take camera one. If camera. all goes according to plan, instructions could start as early as by the end of the month. Take camera three. 
While some students are using spring package. break for fun, others are volunteering their time for others. Our reporter Drew Parsley took a step in the mud to get more on this story. Play it. Take it. Throughout the weeks of March, you can often find your typical college student at the beach or the lake. This week, college students from Illinois are traveling to Mississippi to help serve the local community. Out of this the package, we're going to come back break to Cameron for Cameron college Tech, students and we're gonna go to spring break um, to come and do a service project. So. Students from Rockford University are volunteering in the Habitat for Humanity Community Collegiate Challenge this week, helping to build a house for a local family. The house is being built in Kelly Estates, a new subdivision being developed by the nonprofit organization. We just decided that it's, it's going nice to be to nice for three to school, then so one time. We so we're coming back to camera this three. Is Calvin's going to tag, and then we're going to go to camera one. Part of one, HFH's Maroon Edition the house next. partnered with MSU. For this house, the Rockford students have begun building the framework and the foundation. Even though the students from Rockford drove down here all the way from Illinois, anyone in the area and can come volunteer right, for Habitat bit, for Humanity. Three. Students that have volunteered have built over 70 houses for Habitats for Humanity, with this house making number 73 on that list. The Kelly Estates subdivision is expected to hold around 30 houses, with these two being the first in the area. Stand by, camera three. Reporting for Take 30 News, this is Drew Parsley. Take camera three. Kim. For more Stand information on Habitat for Humanity, you can visit their website at www.habitat.org. Take camera one. National Women's Day, which was Wednesday, is a great time for Stand people to reflect on the history of women. And the Panhellenic Exec Executive Council wanted to do something special for the occasion. Calvin Ritchie has the story. Play package. Take it. The Panhellenic Executive Council hosted a tabling event on the drill field Wednesday for National Women's Day. The event was hosted to empower women on this important day and to raise awareness for not only National Women's Day, but National Women's right, Month, this, which is the entire month of March. One, MSU student tag, Gacy Burgess thinks it's a great way to inform the community. So I currently serve on Panhellenic Executive Council as Director of Scholarship and I work with the mental health and wellness chairs for all the sororities. And so International Women's Day is so important for us as a community. We're all women that empower each other. We're a community within ourselves, but we're also a community in our school, in our campus, in our city, in our town. The tabling event was for all students and even included some fun giveaways. Students who came out to the tabling event were given keychains, stickers, bandanas, and even beverages. The Panhellenic Council also stressed the importance of educating students on Women's History Month in hopes that they can raise awareness for the empowerment of women all across the world. Um, it's important because obviously we interact with women every day in our lives and it's just really nice to be able to acknowledge all the hard work that we do right, um, and really and see how far we've one. come since our country was founded on women's rights and equality. Panhellenic Executive Council hopes that the table will inspire people to look more into Women's History Day and Month and that people will continue to spread the message of women's empowerment. Right, For Take 30 News, I'm Calvin Ritchie. Take number one. Kim. Wow. What a great opportunity for students here. He's on campus to be break. educated on the history the of women, not only in this country, but across the globe. After the break, we have a story Stay for our commercial. animal lovers. Don't go anywhere. Take it, Play. Take it. Cool. <laughs> All right. We are going to come back from break. Uh, we're going to stay on camera one. Rufus is going to intro us into our first package. doing on time. Thirty seconds. You could be part of one of the top engineering schools in the nation without ever leaving the coast. Well, now you can. Mississippi State's collaboration with Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College allows you to earn core credits while pursuing a four-year degree in mechanical or electrical 15. engineering, all in the same location. And with classes taught by MSU Calvin professors, the, the world-renowned education you couldn't find anywhere else Five, is now in your by. own backyard. To learn more about this great Two, opportunity, visit one, us online. Welcome back. Some of our furry friends are looking for a forever for home, and the animal shelter does its best to give them just that. Take it. Sorry. All animals, Go big Go and back. small, are looking for homes in West Point. The West Point Clay County Animal Shelter takes in animals who are in need of help. Make sure it's 
They are given a temporary home at the animal shelter until they meet their forever family. Melanie Elmore says that she works at the animal shelter because she wants to be able to help those animals who can't help themselves. To watch something, to watch the light in an animal's eyes come back because somebody cares. Whether right, you're looking so for a pet that is very cuddly <laughs> or likes to be left alone, and the animal shelter right has whatever you're looking for. Our goal is to have an empty shelter, <laughs> but we all know that that's not going to happen. But our goal is to find loving homes for uh, stray, displaced animals, neglected animals, uh, abused animals. Elmore also says that the most important thing you can do for these animals is to spay or neuter them to prevent cancer. These animals all deserve to be happy and to have a happy home with a happy family. Stand by if you are interested two. in adopting one of these beauties, you can call the West Point Clay County Animal Shelter or visit their website at www.wpccas.org. For Take 30 News, I'm Phoebe Florian. Take care, too. All of those animals Stand were so three. cute. I know, it makes me want to Pretty take one home. Take the Golden three. Triangle Kennel Club will host its annual dog Stand show. Rufus Collins takes a closer look inside the venue. Play package. This is the take Mississippi it. Horse Park, the location of the Golden Triangle Dog Show. The dog show is organized and hosted by the Golden Triangle Kennel Club. The group usually meets at the MSU Animal and Dairy Science Building every third Thursday of every month. Alice Wayne, who recently became a member of the club, says they are trying to bring new things to the show. We've been trying to bring more performance sports and training opportunities uh, through classes and events uh, to the show. Wayne also says that this will be a great opportunity seconds. for young handlers. There's a juniors program so yes, we're gonna for, come back to for younger handlers, and it's a, it's a really great way for kids to kind of get involved uh, in the in the dog world. For more information about the Stand dog show, visit two. the Golden Triangle Kennel Club website. For Take 30 News, Stand by I'm two. Rufus Collins. Take two. So Rufus, are you thinking about entering the dog, your dog two, in the dog show? You never know. Bella might try to take home first place. Stand camera two. After the break, Stand Roberto Zamora will give us a full look into our weather. Play commercial. Stay with us. Take it. Performance at that the works. highest level is the objective of every athlete. But what can athletes accomplish if they understood okay, and responded okay. to everything That's their good. bodies are Let's telling them? Right Mississippi right, State University's Athlete Engineering Program three. is designing and deploying groundbreaking advanced wearable technology that creatively collects millions of data points for researchers to analyze, predict performance, and improve body mechanics. Researchers in engineering, kinesiology, sociology, textiles, and more disciplines are working together to test and design new technology that leads to winning results. In addition to helping athletes reach their highest potential, this collaborative program is reducing injuries and protecting the health of competitors now and far into the future. Mississippi State University. Farming we got can about be a tough left. way to make a living. Weather, pricing pressures, and unpredictable swings in demand can take a toll, not only on farmers' finances, but on their mental health, as well as that of family members and farm workers. That's why Mississippi State University is spearheading a program to train extension agents to detect the signs of depression, substance abuse, and other stress-related challenges. Everyone has a bad day, of course, but this holistic view of a farmer's circumstances enables MSU representatives to recognize the difference between routine struggles and deeper, more seconds. serious issues. It may be a tough conversation, but the sooner it gets started, the seconds. sooner farmers can get help to better manage stress and continue the important work of growing Good the products our world needs. Caring Five, for farms four, and farmers. Three. Mississippi State University. Hello, Perfect. Bulldogs. Welcome back. I want to take you back over to our campus cam again because, I mean, just look at the shot. It's this, beautiful out there. The sun's coming straight through the clouds. And these are getting less and right? less dense as we keep on going throughout the oh, night. No, we're gonna go right to now, it two. is still so in the sorry, 60s. Everyone. Right now, we're sitting at 63 yes, degrees this, with a 2.48 and a north-northwest wind of around 10 and miles per hour. 
If we look at our temperatures around the area, the majority of us are sitting relatively the same. The majority of us are in the mid to lower 60s right now, with Tupelo at 62, Starkville at 63, and Louisville at 65 right now. Mississippi State does have a baseball game at Duty Noble Field. First pitch is at 6 o'clock tonight, 90. so at 4 p.m., it's going to be 60 degrees out there. 6, it's going to be 55, and at 8 p.m., it's going to be 51. This weekend, Saturday, is going to look relatively the same as it is today. 65 degrees with partly sunny skies, but as we get to Sunday, we are going to get some thunderstorms and some gusty winds that are coming through our area. I want to take you over to the future cast 8 a.m. You can see we got some overcast conditions with some storms around the I-22 near Alabama. And as we keep on going throughout the day, you start to see to our northwest, some storms are starting to pull in through the area at 1 a.m. We have some near Pontotoc and Tupelo. And as we keep on going throughout the evening, we'll see uh, around Sunday 6 a.m. That's when we get these big bulk of storms. The major threat here is going to be those wind gusts that are affecting our area. You could also see some big downpours too and of course you can't rule out lightning. And as we keep on going throughout the day we'll have those lingering showers stick behind us. So around 11 a.m. if you're getting ready for brunch or anything like that you want to make sure you have a rain jacket or an umbrella on you. But as we keep on going throughout the day 30. We'll see these uh, overcast conditions will clear out with it and that by dinner time, it's going to be pretty nice out there. However, it probably will be a chilly one too. So as we look over the next seven days, right, Saturday it's going to be 65 two. degrees. Sunday we're going to have 70 degree temperature, but those thunderstorms are rolling through our area. As we start the work week on Monday, it is our, our temperature is going to drop down to the seven, 50s, but it'll quickly six, rise up as we five, get to Wednesday and Thursday. Four, and Friday, three, we do have a, another threat of rain coming through. Take care too. Coming up after the break, Mariah Norman will have our sports for the week with info on some eventful games going on this weekend. It's going to be fun, so stick around. Play commercial. Take it. Meeting cool. the challenges of a changing world. It's a responsibility we take seriously at Mississippi State University. Today, our outstanding faculty are on the job with a passion that places them among the best in the business. We're launching new classroom models, investing in world-changing research, and providing a college experience that's second to none. Though things may look different, our sights have never been higher. To be or not to be? That is the question that echoes the walls of the theater department at Mississippi State University. Nurturing the voice and movement of a new generation of dynamic storytellers. An inclusive program we welcoming seconds. all to a broad course of study in yes. directing, yeah. Stagecraft, playwriting, and acting. Is that what we're going to do? Okay. Discover your passion in Please performance and production with MSU story. Theater. No, 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 no. that's not the Mike Leach one. Where a student can be anything. It teaches teamwork, the weekend games story. Loyalty, How long do we have? At Mississippi 17 State, seconds. We are dedicated to further the field of journalism. We make sure to tell the story no matter how challenging. Ten, Ten seconds. We incorporate all aspects Six, of the growth five, of the student four, and as a person. Three, two. So, what are you waiting for? Welcome to Take 30 Sports. I'm Mariah Norman. A new week means new updates for you, so keep watching. Men's basketball couldn't pull through against number one Alabama in today's yep. quarterfinals round of the SEC tournament. The boys quickly lost momentum in the first half and couldn't get through the arms of the Bama defense. Could have left it up it's not how the Bulldogs wanted to leave Nashville, but their March Madness attendance is still up in the air. Despite the loss, it was still a memorable week for Tolu Smith. It was Good announced Monday that the Bank St. Louis native received the All-SEC First Team honors. Smith also Check brought back the Starkville Howell Trophy, which is awarded by the Mississippi State Sports Hall of Fame to the best male college basketball player in the state. This weekend's Bulldog that, Invitational is underway. Yet, state though. opened okay, the no tournament mind. last night with a win over Southeastern. Up until the bottom of the sixth, the Bulldogs were tied until Briley State Claire's sacrifice fly gave State a six to five lead to win the game. The Bulldogs will take on number one Oklahoma today at six and will turn around and face a doubleheader tomorrow against Oklahoma and Omaha. State will close the weekend against East Tennessee State. Is women's basketball 20 and 10 record enough to grant them a spot into March Madness? Unfortunately, we won't know until March 12th on Selection Sunday. The Bulldogs have had their ups and downs this season, but they hope their ups were enough to make it to the NCAA tournament. 
The girls fell short against Texas A&M in the second round of the SEC tournament. For Coach Sam Purcell, it was a tough loss, but he feels as though his team is still NCAA tournament worthy. We'll have to see if others agree on the Bulldogs' postseason fate and decide to put Mississippi State in a bracket. MSU's golf team secured okay, both so individual this, you know and team not, wins at the Desert the Mountain time, Invitational right? last so Sunday. Weekend, Ruan weekend Pretorius D7, won the individual skipping. title, shooting a career low 208 and finished at a career low 8 under. Men's golf is back home to prepare for the Shegnall Invitational from March 17th through the 19th in right, Statesboro, Georgia. Bulldogs. To end off sports today, Perfect. let's take Good a moment job, to wish Coach Mike Leach a happy belated birthday and celebrate what would have been his 62nd birthday. He left a break. huge impact on not just MSU football, but the university as a whole. Yes. May the Pirate rest in peace and his legacy continue to live on. That's all I have for Take 30 Sports this week. Stand by Reporting for you in the studio, I'm Mariah Norman. See you guys after a long and much needed spring break in Hell State. Take number two. Coming up, stay students stay around the world get ready for a big week. Stay tuned to find out more. Play it. Take As it. concern oh. grows over the declining health of the world's oceans, veterinary students at Mississippi now? State are learning how to rescue and rehabilitate vulnerable marine animals. Through a unique a partnership between the College of Veterinary Medicine and the Institute of Marine Mammal Studies okay. in Gulfport, Mississippi, students are experiencing Spring the chance break. of a lifetime. Tag. Okay, cool. Real-time research of this fragile ecosystem okay, so just so prepares no, students for a future in providing that. care so for sick and stranded this. dolphins, okay. turtles, okay. sea lions, well, how much time do we and have? other marine species. At the same 25 time, seconds. MSU's advanced diagnostic technology is helping innovate for solutions while improving treatment and outcomes. All right, go ahead and stand them by on Not camera two. Not only are the waters of the Gulf Coast opening new worlds of discovery Time. for Mississippi State veterinary students, they're much safer now, thanks to this game-changing partnership so that's improving life two. for literally Three, hundreds of aquatic two, animals. One. With spring break being around the corner, NSU hosts the a carnival to ensure the safety of students over the break. Oh, the spring break package? The health and promotion and wellness organization held the carnival in the doghouse. Different stations promoted a variety of health no, tidbits by incorporating okay. interactive activities such as games and quizzes. The stations included information about alcohol awareness, sexual safety, mental health, and food health. Free food and drinks were given. Graduate assist assistant Armani yeah. Washington shares with us why she values the purpose of the carnival. I don't know where As we, we are, head into so the second week of March, Many college students are on spring break, right, and for some, that means a trip to South Florida. So As Franklin White explains, police are beefing up for the anticipated crowds. Play package. Take it. We having a great time. It's that time of year. Spring break! As folks flock okay. to South Florida. So I said, I am booking the place where I know it is going to be in the 80s. <laughs> Many of them descending on South Beach. How much South are we over? Beach. We went jet skiing, we went on the speedboat, we've been to the beach, we've been a little bit of everywhere. And speaking of everywhere, <laughs> expect to see more How much time more do we have in this? Cracking down on crime, chaos, and illegal behavior. Miami Beach's mayor says it's an all hands on deck approach. We have an enormous police presence, not simply our police, but police from the county, from Carl Gables, from the city of Miami. We have cops on right, horses this, in the city of Miami. Two. We want people to know they're, they're, they're going to be tagged, safe here, but we also the want next. them to really enjoy our city for the reasons that uh, they should. Further north seconds. in Fort Lauderdale, so right now we're about 30 seconds cops heavy. rolling out the rules for the next few weeks, banning tents, alcohol, and heavy. loud music on beaches. Cops also keeping a watchful Time eye on, on anything that may be slipped no into tag. the drinks. We're straight into we will the distribute the next. Uh, these drink koozies, but inside the koozie is a card which you can put down a drop or two of your drink on, and it will test your drink for anything that may be in there that should not be in there. We'll be distributing those to the bars and two individuals Stand by throughout two. the week. Take number two. The Oscars is coming up this Stand weekend, a big event in the country. CNN has the latest on these festivities. Play the package. And when Take we're it. done with this, we're going to be carpeting all of Hollywood. The Oscars are back. Right, the one. first since the slap made Hollywood's biggest night. Yeah, we should, we're like right on time now. Like right on time. It still hurts. 
just a week after Chris Rock took aim at Will Smith. Second I saw Will Smith get up out of his seat, I'd have been halfway to the Wetzel's pretzels. All eyes will be on host Jimmy Kimmel, who says Jimmy, he will address time, the so slap. I say we do the you know, tag comedians are mad about it. It's one of those right? things okay, that cool. for a group so, yeah, we're gonna people come that back find everything this. funny, it's, it's like one. not funny, you know. Uh, but uh, of course, Wait, it's yeah. We need camera three. The fallout also Calvin's upends Oscar tradition three, since Smith won Best Actor one last year. Night. They have to find somebody and to have about present 30 seconds for Best Actress. Night. Because so typically the that. tradition is if you win Best Actor, you come back and you present Best Actress. But that's not going to happen because he's banned from the show. This year's drama should come from the awards. If what? Possible upsets? I've been an actress since I was 19. A late SAG award surge from uh, Jamie Lee Curtis could lift probably, her over yeah. supporting actress favorite Angela Bassett. Neither veteran has ever won. What does that mean for you? You know what? It's just a clear example that you've got to hold on. I'm smiling and breathing. SAG and Critics' Choice winner Brendan Fraser will go down to the wire with Austin Butler for Best Actor. I'm ready. Ready to fly. The Elvis star won a BAFTA, the British Oscar, a bellwether since the Academy has welcomed more international voters. Denzel Washington said to me, you're about to work with a young actor, because he had just worked with him, whose work What's ethic time on this? is like no other. He was right. <laughs> yeah, they've got about 45. If there's an Oscar shocker, it could be for Best Actress, where Michelle Yeoh is expected to win for Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. I am excited. All right, so yeah, out I'm of this, excited. we're going to come back to Kate camera Blanchett's three, BAFTA and win keeps her competitive, tag, go but the one, outlier is Andrea seconds. Riseborough, whose role as an can alcoholic we, in the small film to Leslie three, led to a social media a push inside Hollywood that won her a surprise nomination. Seconds. She was allowed to remain a okay, contender after an Academy investigation into the tactics of the campaign, a probe that upset Stay some of Riseboro's supporters. Seconds. There could be a protest vote that goes on here. And if there is a shocker on Oscar night, it's going to be if she wins. Take camera three. Show. A shocker like no. that would surely turn head. Not that the one. Academy needs more after last year's slap. Take camera one. Well, hopefully you'll make the headlines for the right reasons. That's all the time we have for you. See you next time on Take Camera. Or never mind. Just fade to black, please. Eat their mics. Fade to black. Cool.